Hey, hi, it's Kathy Milligan here from the Glass Studio. We are going to make an enamel pendant with a decal on copper. So uh, let's get ready. We've got 26 gauge copper. I'm going to use these cute little shears here and I'm going to cut out a rectangle. It's pretty easy to cut. So no gloves? No gloves. I mean, you know, there's going to be a sharp edge here and there. Be careful. Um, do you sand or use a file or anything? I do. I have a little flat file. I do have a cool little grinder that I can grind edges with. Um, you can see how it's like they kind of flip up. That's partially due to how thin it is. There's a protective coating on the back. I'm going to peel that off. All right. That aside. Now to flatten it out with one quick whack, I am going to take another bench block and just smack it. Of course, I'm making a mess. Oh, the enamels are. And you can see that flattened it pretty good. It's work hardening it too. I'm going to flip it over and do it again. All right. Now I want to punch a hole. So I've got this handy dandy hole punch. It's great for um, smaller gauges. Uh, if you don't have a small um, or a punch, you can always. Use a drill. A hand drill will work. A Dremel. Boom. All right. And we're all wearing safety glasses. Of course. Safety glasses and have band-aids close by just in case. It flared out a little bit when it punched through, so I'm going to bang it again. And banging it like that doesn't leave a bunch of marks. If you want a bunch of marks, then you can hammer. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go uh, to get ready to enamel. I'm going to put this up on my tripod. Now, to prep my copper, I use fire. Um, you want your copper as clean as possible, so I burn off everything. And also, what I've learned is that the initial layer of enamel can peel up. So, uh, it, glass likes a hot surface to stick to. That's just one of those things that you learn with glass. So, I've got my map gas, I've got my push button torch. <laughs> And then very quickly put this down. I've got my enamels in my sifter and I'm going to sift a nice thin layer. Get this started. Because you want to have... How come only a thin layer? Thin layer because if it's too thick it will peel off. And you're going to add layers to it to, to build it up. Okay, so then when you're heating it, it goes through stages. You like an orange peel, but you're looking for a high gloss. Okay, Why? So High gloss is going to be a great surface for the decal. Uh, you don't want it too much air, and, you know, and so if the surface is rough, then the decal won't stick. There'll be like little gaps in it. Okay, so a little bit more. Should be wearing a particle mask. But it doesn't look good on camera. <laughs> um, any particulate that floats around can get inside, so really, you know, a, a particle mask is uh, really important. Okay, so we're on our second. Coating. The more you coat, of course, the uh, thicker it'll look, and you won't have all these like little bits showing through of the of the copper. I tend to put about four coats on. What color are you working with today? It's called Robin's Egg Blue. It's Thompson's. And how many colors does it come in? Um, I th I think a gazillion. Uh, there are so many colors. There are shades. It, it's crazy. You can get enamels in just about every color of the rainbow. It's like Pantone. <laughs> okay, that looks really good. That's a nice solid coating there. Okay. So we're going to let that cool down, but the magic of uh, magic, I have a decal and I have a piece of copper pre-enameled. Where did the decal come from? So, okay, I actually ordered these decals. You can, they're store-bought decals. They're on the market. You can find them through glass uh, websites or, you know, some stained glass stores and things like that. Um, but I work with a company that makes these. And so they have a printer that they've refurbished to use enamels. You can, can make you, anything. Any artwork. Any artwork. Digital artwork. So, so your I own artwork. Your, your own artwork. What I am using now currently are mid-century modern um, patterns that I've found on the internet. 
I do believe that making your own artwork is how to take it to the next level, and that's kind of where I'm always at with this kind of thing. It's I don't like off the shelf that much. That's cool. why I do what I do. Right. So we're gonna um, this these things are actually when they're printed, they're printed on the temporary tattoo material, so it slides off the paper. So we've got it soaking in the water, and as soon and it curls up, but you know uncurls. And you start to feel it, and you can feel it wiggle away from the paper. And oh, come on now, get off of there. I love this stuff. The first time I saw it, I, I kind of lost my mind. I was like, how did they do that? Can you use it with other things or just enamel? I use it on glass first. So since glass and enamel are essentially the same thing, I said, oh my god, I'm going to use this on enamel. And sure enough, well, the first time I did it, it, it burned away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and why was that? I fired it too hot, you ah. know? I just, I, I went for full fuse firing, but I didn't need to. So 1,300 degrees is the way you want to go, and it'll just fire it right on there. I'm making sure that it's really, really burnished down, and I need a paper towel. I'll use my apron. That's what the apron's for. I'm going to make sure all that water's out. What would happen if there was water on there? You know, a little, it, it, it well, you're going to, no, before you fire it, it's going to be completely dry. So that's not going to be an issue. But if there was water, it would have kind of a bubbly look. And you can almost see it on the finished product that we showed earlier. Um, it didn't sit completely, but that's okay because this is all really cool. So I'm going to set it on top of the kiln for a moment and let it dry and give it like a minute or two. It's amazing how quickly that will uh, dry. So you got all the bubbles and stuff out of there? Yeah, so now let me get this to the edge so I can grab it with the tweezers. Okay, and it's all dry? Okay. It's all dry. All right, let me grab it with the tweezers and we're gonna go put it inside. Tell us about the kiln. So, oh, great kiln. Um, right now it's uh, set at 1300 degrees. I'm gonna open up the bead door and set it in there. How long is it going in for? It's going in for about three, three minutes. So it's gonna cook that on there. And how do you know when it's gonna be ready? Um, I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see that it looks like it's fused on there and um, kind of shiny but not because I found that the decals aren't that glossy. Do they come in glossy? No, I, you know what I have done though is that I have fired over them some more with a, with a torch because once they're fired on, they're fired on. So it's, it's still glass, you know, and, and uh, that's the neat thing about them. There's a permanence to it since glass doesn't fade or so your colors are going to be true. Do you need to check on it? Let me get a look. Yeah, a little bit more time. Right on. Okay, well, let's go get a cup of coffee and we'll come back. Right on. So, we made a great pendant. Enamels, which are glass, powder, the decal, copper, fire. I'm pretty happy. So, it, you can make things yourself, your decals, your own art, and, and do something like this all by yourself. Well, with a little help from the printer, of course. But if you want to find out more about it, check out my website, theglassstudio.net. Now go make something.